Hey guys, welcome back to our day. I actually wanted to film today. Oh, Ashley's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a picture of it, like really messy. Yeah, it was really crazy last night. But we'll get her hair done up cute. Abby did braids in it the other night and it's really cute and wavy. Um, but I wanted to show you what Chelsea's lunch is because it's really cute. She's uh, This is where I like don't worry so much about my kids being picky eaters because eventually they kind of come out of it on their own and they I get creative. I, I know. I've done potatoes <laughs> just, before. I know. Can we show them your lunch really quick? Open it up. Well, it's Open not it up. big right now. I know. Now. Let me show you what's in Chelsea's lunch today. It's okay. really cute. Okay, so last night we had potatoes and ham, right Chelsea? Yeah, but I didn't have the ham. She didn't have the ham, and so she really wanted to have potatoes today. Potato. So I chunked up a few of, hang, there we go. Chunked up a few potatoes, and we drizzled some olive oil on there. And our cheese. And she's got cheese, and then I sprinkled some salt, and she's gonna take this little container, and she's gonna warm it up at school. We don't have a microwave. Oh. Got her fork. Chelsea seems to think she can, and then you're gonna put that in there. We don't have a microwave. I care. They will, they let me do my bagel because it's They cool. did? Yeah. Okay, you just tell me you have a potato you wanna warm up, okay? <laughs> and then, of course, we're gonna round it out with some Cheetos. Right? I need some And a yogurt. That's a lot of Cheetos, just yeah. so you know. I don't know. I don't want, you don't eat all these at school. I'm not. That's your after school snack as well. And then, um, oh, you have a yogurt right there. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then ice block goes on that side. So Ashley's, is, or Chelsea's is done. <clears throat> and then Ashley's was more normal right here. Hers is very simple. Hang on, let me open this up. So her lunches are always basic and almost the same every day. They are going to change. Tomorrow you're going to get apples. Oh, yeah. That's Why are we going to get apples tomorrow? Oh, oh, because every year um, there's this guy who gives us some apples. And there's like a dozen of them. We have to work outside and some of them are still inside. There's like a dozen that comes. I, I think we're going to get more than a dozen so my apple guy is coming today he has come for a couple years now i have tracked him down other years here chelsea will you put the cheese away um he has an orchard in eastern washington over in yakima and yes that's how you say it <laughs> i used to say it yakima when i first moved here which is wrong see now chelsea knows that's the wrong way to say it <laughs> You studied the um, Yakima tribe. Yeah. So, um, anyway, he brings tribes. over. Chelsea, these are your grapes right no? here. Yeah, I got those grapes for you. So, he's bringing his truckload of apples over today. And he brings like three to 5,000 pounds of apples in his truck. And he hand picks them. He probably picked them just oh, a, yeah. a couple days ago because um, they had to wait through the end of September for all of the sugars to like sugar up, he has to have like cold nights in order to have the sugars hit the apples. And so he's bringing his apples over today to all my friends at church and I've extended it to other people, as many people as want, they want, you know, they want to extend it to. I want to get rid of as many apples as we can. And so, you know, he goes to a lot of effort to get these apples and bring them to us. 89 cent chocolate milk. <laughs> I'll have to share with you my savings that I got at the grocery store yesterday. I'll do that when the kids are at school, but um, kind of in a rush this morning to go get those apples. So I'm kind of in charge of it just because he's, I don't know. I don't know how I always get in charge of these kinds of things. Okay, so goldfish are your snack for class, yeah. correct? She cannot have Cheetos as a class snack because that's a nightmare for a teacher to have Cheeto fingers. Can you pour it into the bag while I hold it and talk? Anyway, so I'm kind of in charge, so I want to be there right when he gets there at 9.30, which is right after the kids. Come on, it'll give me enough time to eat breakfast and then go over there. He brings them to the parking lot and everyone climbs up into his truck. You've probably seen it before. 
I'll yeah, try and find the video from last year or the year before. Okay, that's enough ash. Um, they're gorgeous honey crisp apples, and sometimes he I has mini one now. well, sometimes he has honey crisp, and, but most of the time he has Jonah Golds. They're the most delicious apples, and if you get the ones on the top of his bucket, like or the top of the truck, they're like massive, like bigger than your hand. They're such good apples. I saw a mini one. So today we deem it Apple Day, and I'm super excited. Do you want to drink a regular milk too, Ashley? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pouring more chocolate milk in. So I can't do this. The first pour out of a Costco milk carton, nope. That one <laughs> will spill if I don't do that with two hands. So I'm going to put you guys down. We've got seven minutes until the first alarm goes off. So we're going to get them off to school and then I'll be back with you and we can talk more apples and grocery shopping. The deals that I got at the store yesterday. I just didn't film yesterday, but I took f some footage and I wanted to talk to you about it. So we'll be right back. Okay, Ashley's all ready. We get orange for the first day of October, right? Not the first. Today is the first of October. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm here at the church and I don't want to weird people out by getting the camera out. But the apples are right there behind me. So I'll take you over there and show you, but anyway, I'm, it's fun to talk to Vince and he's the guy that brings the apples over. I'm worried that he's eventually gonna not do it anymore. He's kind of getting tired of it, but appreciate him coming to bring them for us. been a couple hours <laughs> since I left the apples actually I didn't actually leave the parking lot because two of my friends that came to get apples um, were going to clean out I'll get my son back here hang on they were gonna clear out the one of the closets in our church room and it's where we put like all of our tablecloths and paper products napkins plates and cups and forks and utensils and stuff for all of our events. The church provides all of that, those supplies and then we have closets that we can store them in. <laughs> it has not been gone through in a really, really long, like years, you guys. Like we found stuff in there from 2008, um, like manuals from 2008. And so uh, we cleaned out the closets. I actually scored me some Halloween candy <laughs> from last year. I'm actually gonna take that up to our retreat excuse me I'm gonna take that up to our retreat and use it um, you know it's, it's good candy we had some of it so I'm gonna take that and I also got like a little um, drawer organizer um, plus I got a pair back of shoe, a pair of shoes back from one of them she was testing out two different sizes um, so anyway then I have a whole trunk load of stuff that I'm taking over to like the Goodwill it's called thrift Mark, what do they call it? I don't know. It's a thrift store. I forget what they call it. Um, we're just going to donate a whole bunch of old tablecloths and just crap, that, like folders and bins and anyway, a whole bunch of stuff. And then I'm going home. It's already 1230 and um, I only have this video to edit, so I can't really edit this one right now, but I'll, someone's texting me. It was just super fun to talk to my girlfriends. I'm at a light, by the way. I'm not driving. Um, I just talked to all my friends that I see every week, but don't actually get a chance to talk to them very much. But I also got to talk to people that I only see 
at this day of apples. So you only see them one time a year. And so it's really fun to catch up with them. I mean, I see their stuff on Facebook and Instagram, but to actually like talk to them and like one of them, I only see once a year and she has a son who is in high school and just that he's struggling with biology. And I literally, like we were having this conversation of how do we teach them how to study? They didn't learn in middle school. She's like, no, they didn't learn how to study in middle school. And she like, totally agreed and so we were how do we do this as parents and how do we teach our kids and and literally like we were having this conversation and Kaylee texted me she was like I don't understand biology the teacher is like way ahead of me and I don't understand they jumped all over this stuff and I'm they expect me to know it and so I get to go home now and have you know a good sit down with Kaylee and like no, they're not going to give you all the information. You have to read your textbook. You have to read the information. You have to study it. Okay, now I'm going again. And I'm by the police station. So hang on. Just one second. I'll be right back. All right. I just didn't. I literally was driving past the police station. Anyway, if you can see out, our little town is so cute. And it still has like old town, like they don't call it Main Street. But it's you can see all the little shops. There's no high rises. Anyway, I just love our little town. Um, I know it's going to get bigger eventually, but I just love it. It's so small and quaint still, but we've got Target, so, <laughs> you know, it works for me if you've got a Target. So anyway, um, I just, it was good to talk to another mom that was struggling, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just that it makes you feel not alone, and that, you know, it's not, I used to think I was crazy to think that my kids didn't know how to study and maybe I failed them or or whatnot but to know that like the school systems aren't necessarily teaching these kids how to study is kind of a downfall and it doesn't help them any and then they're expected to have all this information thrown at them all of a sudden in high school and they don't know what to do with it and they don't know how to take it and so get to go home and have Kaylee hurry and try and study before she has her activity tonight they're going to a burger joint um, I guess she's having a joint activity with the boys I guess the boys have like this running tally of how many different burgers can they try I don't even understand how they make these part of their activities I think they wrap some other kind of lesson into their activities but they're going to a new you know burger joint tonight so she's got to get her homework done before she goes to this activity um, but I've got kids going to three different places for their activities tonight. So I've got to kind of call a bunch of people and coordinate all of that. And then also take other kids with me so that I can help out. Anyway, it's just what I'm doing. It's just mom life. I was talking to another friend, the one I was helping to clean stuff out with in the room at the church. And she was just saying, you know, I always thought when my daughter went to kindergarten, I mean, her daughter's in sixth grade now. She's like, I still think every year, oh, when she goes back to school after the summer, I'm going to get so much done. And then I get home from running all my errands, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get so much done around the house. I'm going to organize my craft closet, or I'm, today, she said, I'm going to put out my Halloween decorations. And then she's like, I get home, and it's like 2.30, and the kids are home from school an hour later. She's like, I didn't get anything done. And then it repeats itself all over again the next day, and it's it's so true. So I'm a little ahead of that. I don't have anything that I have to do when I get home. I might actually like put out my Halloween decorations because I don't have very many. Um, I might actually just do that. So I have something to do with you guys when I get home before the kids get home. Also, I did want to go on a little bit of a walk today because it's such a pretty day and the rain is coming back that I told Ashley we should go on a rainbow walk. And I told her she could tell you all about that. So. Let's go home, maybe put up some Halloween decorations, and maybe we'll go for an, uh, a rainbow walk. And then I have to get them to all these activities tonight, so we'll end it with that. But anyway, I don't know what else is exciting, but that's what we're going to do. This is my new car. I hate my, or why I want a new car. That's my AC. I don't know if you can hear it. If you can hear it, it's just making it, it's mad. So it makes this grumbly noise until I turn it off. And then it's not mad anymore. And that doesn't make this hot mess of a mom happy if my AC doesn't work. So let's donate this stuff here. All right, I'm at home now and I've had lunch. I like something on my lip. So 
like can you see how red that is i don't know what it is it's like dry skin anyway <laughs> oh my gosh it's so noticeable anyway ignore that i don't know what it is but we're gonna get some halloween decorations up do you want to see how many decorations i have to put up today yeah not that many <laughs> I'm not going to do any outside today because just because I don't have time to get out there and I have other plans. So I'm just going to, these are like leftover from my book club. So I just have a few things that I'm going to put out and the cobwebs go outside. The kids love doing that. Maybe we'll do that a little bit when the kids get home before we go on our little rainbow walk. But I thought about putting these guys all out and try and do a little display here on the counter, I think and then put them around the house, so let's do that. All right, so we added two little candy corns to the mantle, one right there, and then another guy there. I actually really love this trick or treat sign. It's the only one that I will never ever paint over. I just love this little sign. And then I added a little witch hat up there, kind of like we're going off a little deep peak of that one, kind of gave the same triangle effect up there. All right, then all the rest are gonna go on to this little tray. Now, so I was trying to decide how to display them here on my counter. I wanted to put them over here in the corner, but sometimes like my husband does need to move stuff in order to like make this his desk, even though I don't like it. So it kind of needs to be on a tray. And I was trying to figure out what to do and I don't have time to make something. And then I discovered something that I got about two weeks ago. Let me show you. So my friend was decluttering and she asked if I wanted four of these little trays. They're not actually trays. They're actually wood signs. She probably got them from like her Michael's grab bags. Anyway, they're just little wooden signs. I can turn them into anything I want, but I realized that if I laid them down and turn them this way, they look like a tray. And the plus side is I could leave them this color, but I think I'm going to paint them white. And this actually looks like a little handle on them. I don't need to actually screw them together because it only gets moved like a little bit. And then it just looks like a full tray. But then I can reuse them again later for another purpose. If I wanted to add all four of them together for a bigger one, I could. But isn't that cool? So I'm going to paint this really quick and then we'll get these all put up over here in the corner. I was actually, if I was just using this for Halloween, I would probably paint it black, but I think I want it white. I think I want to add more white. So I think we're gonna do that. All right, just wanted to show you this all set up. I added this little pumpkin and candle just because I need to have like more numbers here. Kept, I couldn't add just one of them because then there'd be like four. So I'm still trying to figure out like should I put this guy over here? So there's like one, two, three, but then there's only two here. So I put it here and then like this here. So there's three and three. But then there's six, so that's, anyway, I'm just trying to, that's why I kind of added this guy over here. Because then that's kind of, a, like, it's a solid one piece. So then there's three there and one there. Anyway, turned out good, and no one will know that, like, these totally come apart. It's kind of cute over there. So that turned out good. And it's time for the kids to get home from bus, so then we're going to go on our walk. All right, Ashley's home from school. Ashley, wait, 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 come back here. Come here. Okay, tell them what we're going to do. Explain what we're doing. Um, we're, paint, we're going to take pictures that is the whole world rainbow. So plants only, right? Not cars? No. So we're going to try and get as many reds and oranges and yellows as we can find. There's a red right there. There's a red right there? There is. <laughs> so we're going to go around and we're going to take pictures of all the rainbow. Right? There's two reds. Actually. Because we keep noticing all the color changes, right? Yeah. Okay. And blue is not going to be the sky. Yeah. So we have to find something not the sky. Or your dress. Right? Okay, let's go beyond our yard. If we can't find other colors, then we'll come back to the yard. So maybe we should go a different direction than we normally walk. 
Okay? Okay, let's go. down a trail we had a good time she's acting tired but she's really like dying to run ahead of me give me a look look at me I'm tired. okay we'll go get dinner I actually found my apple supply that's what I took from the apple guy today huh let's go wash it for her scuba so I'm making dinner and Chelsea says mom there's four tires on our porch. <laughs> yeah, like I come out to play with one of my friends, but then I see, like, so yep. this is my reaction. What? Why are there tires out here? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, when did someone get us tires? Yeah, I'll explain. But they are ours. She thought they were our neighbors. Okay, roll it, roll it, roll it. Put it in right here. All you gotta do. Hurry. Here, wait, here's the fun of it. Come on, I'm just watching them. <laughs> sit inside the tire and hope you don't. No. Come and put them right here. No! Hurry, Ash. Okay, well, not quite. Chelsea, you roll yours in right behind hers. There you go. There we go. All right. So, no, no, no. Turn it down or pause it for a second. Pause it, Ashley. Hang on. Ashley, thank you. So, Jason and I were talking the other day. We were initially okay with me doing the drive to Utah by myself with my car that I want to replace, but we just don't have the money to do it right now. But then all these snowstorms started hitting Wyoming and Montana and parts of Idaho and parts of Utah. And he, we both were getting really worried about me driving all of our passes on our side. And snow and like sleet and heavy rain and my tires aren't ball necessarily but they're they're not good either and I've just refused to replace them because I want to get rid of this car <laughs> I don't want to have it anymore but then this wedding came up and he's like I can't sorry it's an elastic <laughs> they pop in my mouth and then I find little bits of it anyway and then this wedding came up for my sister he just didn't want to risk me making that drive without good tires. So I know we're not gonna get that money back, 
from selling our car whenever we want to sell it because you just you don't get that money back but at the same time he doesn't want to risk it he can't drive with me and he can't even like come and rescue me very quickly if I have a problem so he ordered tires online so here's the trick they come they come with their own warranty so I'll you know, I was kind of worried about not having a warranty from the tire place that we always get our tires done at. But it does come with its own two or three year warranty, which for a tire, that's like a good warranty. And so then we just take it down to Firestone where we do have a credit card that gives us access to alignments and other street wear and tear warranties on, on our car, no matter what tires they are. And so we take it down there and it's like a hundred bucks for them to put the tires on. So the tires were half the cost that we would have paid had we ordered them through Firestone and had them put them on. So, sorry, I'm still working through dinner, having to stay caught up even though I'm chatting with you guys. So, I really should put my recycling can, I need to talk to Jason about this, especially going into winter. <laughs> you ever see me come in here and like toss stuff to the garage? It's my recycling, and I should just put the recycling can right inside the garage there, and with the lid open. <laughs> it would probably make him happier than coming home and seeing garbage on the floor all the time. I usually put it out when I go out to the car, but anyway, I digress. I need to hurry. I have an hour before I have to take these girls to their activities. I have three girls that I'm taking, swapping cars with Jason, then he has like, six kids that he's bringing home and Katie and Abby will come home with our other friend. No, you come with me. I gotta explain it to my kids. So I have an hour to make dinner, eat dinner, get them in, her in pajamas and the other kids ready for their activity. And then I'm taking a shower and cuddling up on the couch with whatever new TV shows. Ooh, This Is Us and A Million Little Things. I just caught up on the first two episodes of each of those things. So I'm ready for a cry fest Mom, TV I can show. Fit inside the tires. You can fit inside the tires. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So now we our day like <laughs> all over the place. Weird Hang time. on. Set up time. Oh my gosh. Can you make channel? No, you can't have your own channel now. Sorry. Climb in. This is Daddy. Your... Climb in because this is the only time it's gonna happen. Can I? Can I? Oh my gosh, Chelsea. You can roll around. Roll around. No, 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 no. Get out. And take yeah. your, I just washed that pillowcase. Get it out. Okay. These tires aren't necessarily clean. They're new. They look clean. Well, they're still tires. So. Yeah, tires are new. Okay. Nah. -uh. Get out and leave the tires alone. All of that gets put away, Chelsea. Chelsea. I'm not turning this camera off. Chelsea. Oh, she set shoes. Up. Look at this. She set shoes up so they wouldn't roll. Chelsea, put your stuff away right now. How is it? Did it scare you? No. Oh. Graphic. Great. Why did I hit myself in the head? I'm like, you're lucky. Why are you in the head? The one coming up. It's worse. No, it's not the one. Oh, fuck. All right, we have officially swapped cars and swapped kids. I need to move my seat <laughs> so I'm not low riding it like Jason has to have it. He's not that much taller than me. Okay, Ash, we had a fun day, didn't we? They actually asked about you today at the Apples. All my friends were like, wait, you don't have an Apple buddy. You're always, she's always there with me. This is the second year she's not there. But anyway, we had a whole gaggle of kids in the car. Man, boys make a whole lot more noise than girls do. Anyway, take care. We'll end on a prettier note with all the leaves and whatnot, but take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.